In this video, we'll write the balanced net ionic equation for HF plus RBOH. This is hydrofluoric acid. This is rubidium hydroxide. So first off, we need to balance the molecular equation. In this case, it's already balanced. Kind of nice. Next, we write the state for each substance. So HF, hydrofluoric acid, is a weak acid. It only dissociates a little bit into its ions, but it does dissolve dissolves in water. So we're going to have AQ, but remember this is a weak acid. Rubidium hydroxide, that's a strong base. That'll dissociate. Fluoride is very soluble, and then water is a liquid. Now we can split the strong electrolytes into their ions for the complete ionic equation. We're only going to split the strong ones. That'll look like this. So this is the complete ionic equation. Everything here is aqueous except for water. That's going to be a liquid. And note our weak acid, HF, we didn't split that apart. So now we can cross out spectator ions. They're on both sides. So in the reactants here, I have the rubidium ion and in the products. That's a spectator ion. We can cross that out. Everything else is the same. I'll write the states and we'll have our net ionic equation. So this is our balanced net ionic equation for HF plus RBOH. You note the atoms, they're the same on both sides and the charges as well. We have a one minus here and then we have a one minus in the products. So that's all balanced. The trick here is to make sure you recognize that this hydrofluoric acid is a weak acid, and for that reason, we don't split it apart into its ions. This is Dr. B. Thanks for watching.